Hey there YouTube! It's been a full month of trial and error in this little ecosphere, and we're super excited to finally get to give all of you who have been with us through all that time a nice in-depth look at how this ecosphere is doing. One of the other things that we've seen happening in the tank over the last month is a number of the plants are no longer anchored to the bottom of the tank. So we had set up a layer of sand and then tried to put the plants inside of that, and it didn't quite work out like we had hoped. Now in an ecosphere that we made after this, what we had done differently is that we had a layer of soil underneath that sand, and that has worked way better at keeping those plants in place. And because of that, some of these plants have not stayed where they're supposed to be and they're floating in the water. Some have died off and some are still doing okay. One of the other things we're also seeing inside of the ecosphere is we're seeing algae starting to grow on the walls and other surfaces of it. Now this in our ecosphere is kind of a brown coating that you're going to see on different surfaces. And to an extent, it's definitely not a bad thing. Some creatures even eat off of it and survive from it. But algae does have the potential to be a detrimental thing inside of an ecosphere. Algae has a potential to grow very quickly and its population can go very high very fast in the right conditions. Now if that happens, the algae can actually use up so much nutrients that it can't sustain itself and it will have a mass die off. And when that starts happening, the dead particles of algae have to be broken down by bacteria. And as this high quantity of dead algae starts getting broken down by the bacteria, the bacteria is going to be using oxygen from the water in the process of breaking down the algae. And when this bacteria is stripping the oxygen out of the water, it can ultimately kill the inhabitants inside the tank. So algae, if it has a chance to really go wild inside the tank, can be a bad thing. That's not to say it doesn't have a place in certain ecospheres. That being said, we also are seeing a bit of a bacterial bloom inside of our tank. We think that the algae bloom as well as the bacterial bloom are kind of caused by the fact that we have so much organic matter in the bottom of the tank. As these sticks and leaves and twigs start breaking down, they're going to be releasing nutrients into water. Part of that process is accomplished by the bacteria itself. And with all this excess nutrients in the water, the algae is able to take that up and utilize it to grow where the plants aren't being able to do that because they're dying off. So one of the things we're a little bit worried about is that we might have too much organic matter in the bottom of here because we gathered quite a bit from location and we're thinking about moving it into a slightly larger container to try to balance out the ratio of organic matter to water as well as inhabitants and plants. We've removed the snails and the crayfish that we previously had in this container. Since the snails were reproducing way too quickly and the crayfish weren't really suited for a sealed container like this one. Since then, we've noticed that the amphibots have been thriving, their population has risen, and you can see plenty of transparent little babies that are just a fraction of the size of the adults in some of these clips. With how many amphipods we're beginning to get, we're thinking of renaming this ecosphere to the amphipod. The other critters are also doing well, but we haven't really noticed any significant changes in their populations. Though the hydra might become a concern as time goes on since the snails were their primary predator and are no longer in the ecosphere. The cyclops have decided they don't like worms though, and we believe they've formed an alliance with the amphipods to take over the world. With everything that we've talked about that's going on with this ecosphere, we've been pretty impressed with just how much diversity there still is inside the ecosphere. Granted, if we went out and made the same ecosphere again today, we'd probably gather a little bit less organic matter in the bottom to break down and focus a little bit more heavily on plants, probably even putting some moss in there to try to get it to take aquatically. Overall, it's been a lot of fun to watch just how this ecosphere has done over the past month, and even compare the differences of how this one's doing to the planted one we made the week afterwards. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I look forward to showing you an update on the planted ecosphere in next week's video.